Jung had a vision at the end of his life of a catastrophe. It was a world catastrophe. I don't want to speak much about it. One of his daughters took notes and after his death gave it. And there's a drawing with a line going down, up and down and underneath is, is the last 50 years of humanity. And, and some remarks about the final catastrophe being ahead. But I have only those notes. Mm -hmm. What is your own feeling about it, the, the world well, situation? One's well, whole, one's whole feeling revolts against this idea. But since I have those notes in a drawer, I, I don't allow myself to be too optimistic. I think, well, we have always had wars and enormous catastrophes, and I, I, I have no more personal fear much about that. I mean, at my age, if you, ha you have any house soon to go, so or so or so, egocentrically spoken. But, but the beauty of all the life, uh, to think that the billions and billions and billions of years of ev evolution to build up the plants and the animals and the whole beauty of nature and that man would go out of sheer shadow foolishness and foolishness and destroy it all. I mean, that all life might go from the planet. And we don't know. On Mars and Venus, there's no life. We don't know if there's any life experiment elsewhere in the galaxies. And we go and destroy this. I think it's so abominable. I, I, I try to pray that it may not happen, that a miracle happens. Do you find that uh, young people that you see now are aware of that, that, that in, it's in their consciousness? Y yes, it's uh, partly in their unconscious and partly in their consciousness, and I think in a very dangerous way, namely in a way of giving up and running away into a fantasy world. You know, you, when you study science fiction, you see there's always the fantasy of escaping to some other planet and begin anew again, which means give up the battle on this earth. Look, uh, consider it hopeless and give up. I think one shouldn't give up. Because if you think of answer to Job, if man would wrestle with God, if man would tell God that he shouldn't do it, if we would reflect more, that's why reflection comes in. You never thought that we might do better than just possibly sneak around the corner with not too big a catastrophe. When I saw him last, he, he had also a vision while I was with him. But there he said, I see enormous stretches devastated, enormous stretches of the earth. But thank God it's not the whole plan. I think that if not more people try to reflect and take back their projections and take the opposites within themselves, there will be a total destruction. <laughs>